Hey there folks, this is GooniXI welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, this is part 40. All I've done between the last episode and this one is I've gone from Central Ruins, where the hand is pointing right now, up to Blam, because that's where we're going to next, to carry on with the story. But you can't just go up because there's a bridge in the way, in the middle of the sea, so you have to go down and around and get there from there, that's all. Anyways, as you can see, Galbadia Garden is here, that's Adia's Galbadia Garden, so it's going to be trouble, at least a little bit of trouble. Now let's get out. What I'm going to do is put Zell in the party. I think you're forced to anyway, so... You know. Who do we usually have the fight that's with Quistus? And Junction Exchange. There we go. Let's head in. As well as that, I drew some more fibre magic from... What are they called? Jelly Eyes or something around Central Ruins? They have Fire Earth and Aura and Blizzara for what level I'm at right now, at least. Anyways, we're going to be here for a little while. There's a GF here. It's quite hard to miss, but make sure you have Draw equipped. <clears throat> what the hell? What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> sorry. We were forced out of town days ago. Our daughter's still at home, but there's nothing we can do. Hotel owner. With all these soldiers from Galbadia, you've got to stop and wonder whether Galbadia fell to the hands of the sorceress. Of course it did. <laughs> I don't know what to do. What's happening to this town? What can we get in? If I knew this was going to happen, I would have brought my daughter with me. Hope she's alright. This town's under the control of Sorceress Adia. Town's off limits. While we conduct our investigation, it'll last for several days. Once we're through with our investigation here, you're next. So just stay out and stay put. Can we come in? <laughs> um. Ah, here we go. You guys look suspicious. What are you doing here? What do you want? Your residents here? Well, one of us are. His residents should be allowed in. It's off limits. You can't enter or leave, do you understand? Do you think... <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. What? What is it now? You said the town was off limits. Does that mean we can't deliver a message either? That's too bad. We have some info on alone. What? <laughs> yeah. What do I do now? <laughs> Tell me everything you know about her. Do you actually know who she is? Kind of, but we need to get inside to confirm something. If you found out any information at all, go talk to the commander. She's staying at the hotel. You will be rewarded. Who is the commander? I wonder. Oh, you know I want. Bloody hell. <laughs> don't ask why I switched from around there second time. I don't even know myself. Oh, well, I've had the music on. I hope I haven't been able to <laughs> hear it. Anyway. What I think we should... Let's see where the draw point is, actually, first. Thunder. Squall has a junction, so we might as well have some more of it. One thunder. <laughs> oh, well. Any new weapons we can get? I don't think we've got many new things since last time. Oh, really? We can get the Valkyrie now. Magic stones, of course. Okay. That's all we can do, so let's upgrade Renoa's model. It was worth coming here after all. And to the hotel where the commander is. Let's through. How in the world are we supposed to find this girl alone if we only have her name to go on? I think she'll turn up. She won't be able to run from Sir Sosadia. Well, we gave him over to that other seed ship, didn't we? When she left our garden. Right, this is where we were told to come to see the commander. What do you want? If it's the commander you're looking for, I have strict orders not to let anyone through. Information about the loan? Yep. More rumours? <laughs> yeah. It looks like a couple of people have come to talk about the loan. Even though they haven't known anything really. Just rumours. We have top secret info. Bring the commander out here. These guys are kind of suspicious, huh? 
Yeah, totally. Well, have some respect for the captain. The captain's currently on patrol. Okay, we can't see the commander, but the captain's out on patrol. Where to? He'll take full responsibility. Go talk to the captain. Okay. It makes sense that it would be down around this area, because this is the direction we're heading in. Might not be. Captain! Who are you two? If you talk... Commander? No. Captain? I don't know, but I haven't seen anyone who looks important. Just be grateful to Galbadia that this town hasn't gone up in sea of flames. Yeah, we know. Idea would kill anyone. Zell, yes, you're finally here. You have to go avenge my boss. Those Galbadians broke the boss's arm. All he did was ask a question. He wanted to know what was to become of Balam. Funny I was as strong as you, Zell. Yeah, okay, but... Um, maybe it's further down. I'm pretty sure this is where we have to go to to carry on. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I've been told to use this dog to find alone, but without a scent to go by, what can we do? Let's talk to the dog. No, oh. <laughs> no difference. How do you? What are you doing on the floor? Some scent for the dog to go by. No, but I know, I know. I thought this is what we had to do. Um, I see where the draw point is, this actually. Kiwa, okay. Vanilla might as well fill up on Kiwa. She must have used a couple of them when I'm... Um... Yeah, he was just fishing here when we were fighting. He caught a few and got really excited. Said he was going to eat them right away. I'm sure... The dog is supposed to run off. I remember it in other playthroughs. Play okay, well, let's go and find something to do with fish then. I always have a little bit of trouble here because it's a bit fiddly in, in the sense that I have to do everything in the right order. Oh yeah, behind one of the cars, but there you can pay someone to, to give you clues about what to do here. But I don't think we'll need to do that. <clears throat> I think it's a chance that it'll lower your rank as well. It would make sense that it does, because you're getting help in the game, I know, so... Anyway. In one of these houses is Zell's house. We've been here once before, you know. No, nope, must be the one next door. And I'm pretty sure Zell's mother has a fish or something. Because that's what we need. Ma, I'm home. Yay, cutscene-ish. She's not here. There she is. <laughs> Ma, you're safe. Zell, how on earth did you get into town? It's all in the brains, Ma. We just said we had some info and alone. Piece of cake. What a relief. I was worried you might have beaten up some one of the guards. Soldiers have threatened that the sorceress will burn the town to the ground, should there be any disturbance. Is she here? I noticed a woman with the Galbadian army. Grey hair, patch over one eye. That's not a deer. <laughs> Must be Fusion. So they're here. Fusion and Asian are here. Leave it to me. I'll get rid of those jokers. Could Sifa be here too? Could be, couldn't he? Uh, yeah, the town will be reached in several days. Well, that's good, anyway. I don't want soldiers hanging around all this time. Come on, I know something. Let's try upstairs. Can't stay at the hotel. I guess we have no choice. Let's just go to my room and rest. Well, Renault's excited, isn't she? <laughs> I have no choice. No, we don't have a choice, do we? <clears throat> so this is Zell's room. Looks like it. Is that your grandfather, Zell? Yep, he's the person I look up to the most. He played a big role in the last war. He wasn't just strong, he knew when to attack, when to retreat. Any kind of situation, he maintained his composure and stayed cool. So basically, the opposite of you. <laughs> Can't argue with that. It's probably none of my business, but... 
Maybe you're being a little too cool, Squall. <laughs> she got you there, Squall. Why don't you try to show a little more passion, you know, like me? Anyways, let's punch a bag. I have no idea what the point of it is. I think it's just <laughs> for the sake of it. Can we rest you? Yeah. Might as well heal up a bit. I think we were a bit low on health. At least a little bit. Anyway. There should be something around here we can do. It might be next door. Let's give it a check, shall we? Um, 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 um. Mommy and Daddy haven't come back, you know. Okay. It's not really important what they say around you. It gives you a bit of backstory about the whole th the whole mess, but. Cat. You'd, you'd think a cat will have a fish. <laughs> um. This is a bit of a problem because I thought it should be here. In here. Ah, she's back now. Just now, a man came in and asked if he could use the kitchen. I think he cooked some fish. Good, that's what we were hoping for. Let us. Let's do it then. Ah, okay, they've already gone. I'm going to check the oven one more time because I don't want to be leaving without something, but, you know. Um, where to now? I think we go back down to the harbour and speak to the dog ag again. Do we? Well, now that we're on the way, we might as well, but I don't know now. Don't worry, we won't be in this town long at all. Just for... Just for like two seconds, actually. There we go. Come on, dog. Come on. Right. Now we need to follow him. And we'll find the captain because he's got the fish, you know. We're pretty much, we've pretty much solved everything that's going to go on you. Keep on going, we saw him go at the top of the screen. Oh, across here. I really like this sneaky music that they do have in Final Fantasy VIII. Can we buy something? Yeah, good. <laughs> I really like it. I can't even explain why, really. Um, might as well get some more of our... Not much, but... I potions we haven't got any of, so let's get some of them. I really want some tents. We... There we go. That'll do. We want to keep some money, after all. Oh! <laughs> Just as we got loads of money. Okay, looks like he's on the train. There he is, the captain. It's raging, come on. Flower fields, what are you on about? On drugs or what? I don't know if we have to go on the train or... Yeah, okay. Bad fish. Bad fish. Right, now... <laughs> next up, we're going to head back to the hotel area. So let's get going. Hey you, stand back. This could be dangerous. It's time for a boss. Well, two bosses, actually. 
Ouch. <laughs> Could you control your temper? Temper? Temple? <laughs> I was patrolling, just like you told me. I even woke up that search dog, sleeping on the job, you know? You guys help me out here. Well, he was just eating fish. Got to calm Fujin down, you know? Virgin? Wow, what are you guys doing here? We're here to liberate Balam, you know? I mean, uh, we're here to liberate Balam. <laughs> Siva told us to give you a whopping if we saw you, you know? Your soldiers helped me out too. Okay, boss number one. This one's easy enough, just don't use electric attacks on him. Or thunder element, you know? So no Quetzalcoatl, no thunder magic, no... Um, that's about it, really. But what I normally do is I kill off one of the soldiers to start with. Let's see what they got to draw first. Kiwa is the reason why I keep one of the soldiers alive. So that's just what I'm going to do. And now, Diablos is really good if you want to. I might as well show you Tombi actually. And like I said, Diablos, it is good for this boss. And the boss after this. At this point, we can't have Quistus, but there we go. We could have added instead of Renoa, I guess, but what would have been the point in that? Right, Chef's Knife. We haven't got boost yet, so we can't do anything about that. I'm going to take the menus off by pressing select. I don't even know if Tombi is much good against it. Against him. <laughs> Does quite a lot of the damage, though, doesn't it? Notice it didn't hit the guard, even though it showed that it was hitting both enemies. I'm probably not the only one who thought that was strange. Ah, oh, I missed that completely. Note just when Noah's got a new got a new weapon on, the one that we gave her earlier, upgraded to. And it's all bright blue and everything now, it looks a lot nicer. Doesn't do much damage difference in damage and stuff, but it looks nicer. <laughs> if that matters. Okay, I don't think I'll use Jeff's for the rest of this battle now. Just because I know it annoys people, it's bound to. Sorry. Loads of damage. Not much to the soldier because he hasn't got much max health to start with. As you can see, there's nothing to worry about with this boss. Just, just keep going however you want really and he'll probably make it through. Um. Vision, he has got an attack which will do quite a bit of damage though. It's a physical damage attack. I can't remember the name of it. Is it Vision Special or something like um Vision Special or something like that? I'm I'm guessing we'll find out soon anyway. Cause he's going down. Oh he's asleep. I am going to get rid of the soldier now, just because he's bound to have low health left, so we might as well kill off the soldier and not even worry about Kiwa, considering we've got so many Kiwas anyway. Ah, uh, it would have been good if he went straight back into sleep then. <sighs> We're doing roughly how much? 700 damage a turn with the three characters with just physical attacks or somewhere around that figure anyway so what I'm going to do I will get one more Jeff out just to speed things up a lot oop Angelo Rush is he done? oh my god who knew Angelo Rush could be so useful <laughs> 
Now boss number two I'm going to do in the next episode. And at the same time we'll finish off Blam Garden probably. Uh, yeah, we definitely will. She learned Elemental Defense Junction, Tombi learned Boost. Oh good. But yeah, anyway, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next episode when we take on the second and last boss of Blamtown in a bit.